Good afternoon everybody. Welcome to sunny Weymouth. It's Wednesday. A lot of police activity this morning. Afternoon. Yes, yeah, so it's Wednesday. I'm down at my allotment as you can see. It is... Oh! Just after one o'clock. And let's go pick some corn. Shall we? I've picked a few already, not many. I was just trying to work out how I was going to do it, that's all. Okay, I've noticed on some of them, there's no ears. Like this one, there's no ears on it whatsoever. So, go all the way down to the bottom. Whoops, sorry. Nothing. So I'm just going to pull them out. Down here there's that big squash. Oh! That big squash that I'm growing. Right. We've got one on here. Can you see that? This one here. Oh, hang on. It's trying to set you up somewhere where you can see. Right, there's a couple here on this one. Oh. That's just grown from the bottom. I can feel that there's a cob in there. But that, this one grew from the from the floor. There is a cob in it. So I shall try that one. Let's have a look at this one. See there's three on this one. It's weird, isn't it? I'm getting some with nothing. These will be small, but that's okay. Have a look what's in this one. Can you see? Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's lovely, isn't it? I should probably be having that for my tea. Right, let's get on it. Right, that's all I've picked for today. There's quite a lot there. So now I'm going to have to peel them all. This, is, this one seems to be a nice one. There we go. And the ends are nice as well. Sometimes some people say about the ends not being too good. That is bloody lovely. It's a bit white. Why is that? Why would it be white? Hmm? Maybe it's not quite ready. Maybe it's just as well that I'm leaving them others a bit longer. Show you it in the sun. It is a bit yellow. Maybe it's not going to be as sweet. But anyway, let's get all these peeled. The small one that I was um, showing you earlier, that's that one. I can still cook that and eat it like that, maybe even whole. We'll see when I get home. I'll let you know.
27. 27. Some of them are really small. But what I'll do with them is I'll still cook them and maybe be able to eat them as they are, the smaller ones. But I think maybe them two are the nicer ones. They're lovely and yellow. I think they might need it leaving a little bit longer. But I've only picked a few of them. Some of them are really white. Them too. They're really white. I mean, look at the difference. So I shall leave them a bit longer. I might even cook them with a bit of sugar in to make them sweeter, but I bet they are delicious. Oh, and this one. As you saw before, I was trying to self-pollinate. Um, this must have been one of the, out, the outer ones that didn't get pollinated very well. But what I was doing is, hang on a sec, oh, there. collecting some of these. And putting them on there. I didn't mean to pull them off, but that's pollinating them. Um, you don't have to do that. That's just something I've been doing. Right, sorry about the wind. This is my first brassica cage that I made. Um, if you remember the silly old man, he ripped the back off of it and you can maybe somewhere about here. Um, he ripped all the back off there and I've just quickly sewn it back on. That needs fixing properly. The This post here, I didn't do that properly and that's broken there. Um, it is a bit wibbly wobbly. He also, that scaffolding pole back there, he also wiggled that so that it's like really loose. But what I'm doing is I'm just trying to hurry up and grow everything out of this. I'm not planting anything more in it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some raised beds in here with a little walkway there. I'm going to find that a bit um, easier to maintain. I keep going round with um, water with oil and dish, dish wash liquid. We call it fairy liquid in, in the UK. Um, yes, in a spray for the white fly because it's just teeming with white fly. I'm going to get everything out, put some raised beds in, like I said, bit of bit of a walkway in the middle so the raised bed will go all the way round and hopefully, like I said, fix all the things up and then hopefully then that will be it. There's a great big grasshopper. Hello, grasshopper. What do grasshoppers eat? Do they eat grass? I don't know. Anyway, in this one, I planted some more broccoli, if you remember. This has also got white fly in, but I plant, planted broccoli in there. You can probably, hopefully, see a few. I've got some more of them ladyfinger uh, radishes in there. I put some, a couple of lettuces over there. Yeah, everything's doing okay. I've been eating off my strawberries, uh, raspberries, autumn fruit in the, all of these are. I need to sort this out as well. Although at the minute I've got, sorry for the wind, I've got this open and I'm getting in there before the birds do. Definitely. Right, I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers. 
and I'd like to thank some of my old subscribers for telling their subscribers to come over and see me. I've been getting quite a few. I think I've got 110 at the minute. That one's not looking very good. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I think I've got 110 at the minute. So that's awesome. I think I've been doing these for two years now. Videos. I started round at my garden. So, I've got a small garden at home. Which you might see in the next couple of days. I'll tell you why in a second. I've got a big garden that a man, he bought the house and he rents the rooms out. And nobody was interested in the garden, so he gave it to me to use as an allotment. Um, so I've had that for four years. And I've also now got this, which I've had for a year and a half. I don't eat half of what I grow. I don't like cabbages, courgettes, runner beans. I like potatoes. I don't mind a cucumber now and again. Um, I like potatoes, onions, carrots and peas. You'll find that I grow a lot of peas. I make sure I've got five pound of peas in my freezer for the year. And that just just about does me. Everything else I grow in here, oh, except for the raspberries and strawberries, um, I give away. So, yes, and I've got, there's a new, there's a new member of the family that joined us last week. And it's a rabbit. It's a continental giant. He is only a baby and he's ginormous. So, I'm going to be fixing... Um, I've got a cage already for him, but it's not big enough, which I didn't realise at the time. Um, so I will be building a new cage, if you want to see that. There might be a few swear words here and there, because it might be a bit frustrating to do. But yeah, if you want to see that, drop a comment down below. And um, if there's quite a few people that want to see it, then... I'll show it. Yeah, look at my pear tree. This pear tree I had growing in my garden at home. So my small garden. And the most pears I've had off of it so far is... Was it about three or four last year? And look at it now. Now I've brought it round here and actually planted it in the ground. Don't look at the weeds. It's doing really well. And as for my Jerusalem farty chokes, oh my goodness. I can't believe the size of them. Last year I planted some, but they I planted a lot in one uh, bowl, bucket, whatever, plant pot. I planted a lot in this one. And... When I harvested them, I got, I think, three of the biggest and planted them in that pot. And as you can see, it's paid off. They might even flower this year because they didn't flower last year. They look as if they've got a flower bud. And I really should have grown them against something, so I will learn from that this year. Yeah. So I think that's maybe about it for now. I've got some lettuces growing in here. I've got these sweets here and the broccoli there, which I have got to plant out soon because they're getting too big there. So I'm going to have to put them in that second... Um, that one. The second brassica cage so yeah right as you can see here in this tub is where I planted 
some upside down bulbs and only one of them turned out and that's this. I do think it's an onion. I think it's an onion. I know it's upside down, but I think this was supposed to hold a flower on and maybe I pulled the flower off. I plant I normally plant seeds in something like this and when they start growing I plant them out. But I believe they're lettuces and they've all been eaten. But never mind. So I'm going to pull this up. And let's see what's on the end of it. Oh my gosh, that's pulling up really easy. Ah. And there. Is my upside down onion. Oh, it's almost. Well, it is upside down, isn't it? Yeah. Brilliant, that pulled out easily. It, it feels like it's rotting a bit. Um, it's still, oh no, it's a bit squishy there. But we'll see when we get it home. I'll give it a good wash and see if it's okay to eat. And as some of you know, I have problems with the next door neighbour's weeds growing over. Um, and I keep building, I keep building little fences. There, I've got to there. So if you see, I've got a plank of wood running across here and a post going up because I don't want all this growing over. And I think I've done enough complaining for a while. So uh, I'm going to build that fence there and hopefully push all there because it's all bindweed. It's horrible, isn't it? Once you get that, that's it. So I'm going to have a go at that. Well, I wasn't going to start it today, but there's no time like the present, is there? I'm getting there. This wood, by the way, isn't costing me anything. I told a friend of mine that um, he builds fences for a living. And I told him I wanted to build a fence. Not this one, another one. And he brought me loads of this feather board in. Loads of it, and it's all brand new. So, yes, at the bottom there, I'm just going to attach... Where's my finger? There. I'm just going to attach a piece of wood at the bottom, then I can get rid of all these weeds and that horrible bush growing. Let's get on it. It's getting there. It's getting there. There we go. Believe it or not, that is straight. Because I did it with a spirit level. So now I can cut that off and throw it over. And I can just get rid of all these weeds here. That there is my dog's digging pit. He loves just having a little dig in there. It gives him something to do while he's here, so as he's not bored. And I don't want all the weeds growing in it, and I don't want all these weeds growing around here, so I shall have to clear all that up and sort my ornaments out a bit better. Right, before I go, this is my comfrey, okay? Let's just grab a few leaves. Just pull them up like this. Take them round here. Do you remember I made that tube? It is working so well. It really is. So here's the tube. There's a top on to stop it from getting wet. The tube goes down. And there is my collecting container at the bottom. At the minute it's that full. You can see, I've emptied it already and it was that full. I've taken it round to my big garden. So, let's go up here. Take the top off. Sorry, I'm a bit wibbly wobbly. Put the comfrey leaves in. I hope you can see all right, I am very wobbly. I shall push them down with a stick next time oh. and put the top back on. 
that is working so well no smell I've put um, rhubarb leaves in there as well because that makes good good um, fertilizer so there we go I'm gonna get some more in a minute I'm gonna tidy that little space up there I'm well pleased I've got that done it's all these little jobs isn't it I'm gonna tidy all them weeds up there and down here and I'm gonna pick some more of that and put it in that tube and then that's it I'll be going home so I'm gonna bid you all a goodbye thank you for joining me today like I said thank you for all my new subscribers I think some of you came because of the picking parsnips with a hammer <laughs> which gave quite a few people a bit of a laugh <coughs> excuse me so I'm gonna bid you all a goodbye from sunny cloudy hot Weymouth bye bye